Rocket there. Pull up in motor cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Welcome to the Jack's Wax Podcast. My name is Jared Miner, and as always, I'm with Todd Isaac, our marketing director. What up, dude? Man, what is up? We're back in, in full action. We sure are. So there's been a lot going on since our last podcast, and we wanted to jump on here and just let people know what's going on uh, with Jack's Wax, what our plans for in the future, some of the stuff we've been doing for the past few months while, uh, while we've been away from the podcast uh, studio. Yeah, I think if we had to tell everything that's been going on, we'd need like a uh Maybe a little mini series. <laughs> it'd be a long we, time. It'd be a, it'd be a long podcast. Yeah, for the for the people that follow kind of what we're doing and um, the direction that we're headed, uh, one aspect of our business is stores, and uh, we've talked about it on here multiple times, and and it, we know it's a viable thing for us, and we continue to open. We're opening a bunch of them. We uh, since the last podcast, we've opened El Sobrante, California. Yep, Gerald was, up there doing yeah. a really good job. Northern what, California. What a cool grand opening! Guys from Cali Creamy came out to that, and yep. uh, some guys actually all the way from Texas, and then L.A. Yep. was a really really cool grand opening. And what a nice, you know, such a nice guy. Yeah, the, the, he. Um, it's a beautiful area. Unlike here, it's where it's been cold. Uh, I know. Ever since our last podcast, probably. I know. It's like literally this week uh, here in Columbus. This is the first week that we've had a stretch of days that it's been sunny and nice. It's been cold, rainy, snowy. It's one of them just weird years that we've had that it just hasn't kicked off, you know what I, know. I mean? In his store, that's why I always tell him when I talk to him, I'm like, man, I'm envious because you get to, uh, there's never that. No, you know, yeah, There's no, never the like, never oh, it's about it. a horrible day. It may rain once, but it's uh, it's been, uh, yeah, it's a cool store. And then we had uh, Lafayette. Lafayette, Indiana, yeah, yep. uh, opened for us. A distributor that's been a distributor for 15 years, decided to open his first store. Uh, he's going to do some more, I think uh, possibly three or maybe even more. This is his first one. Uh, Lafayette's cool. They got, they're got they in a location, and we're getting ready to talk about some of the events that we're getting ready to have at these stores, but they're in a location that uh, can hold a lot of cars. So the events that we have called Street Madness, um, man, he's got a prime spot. So Yeah, it's like right by – it's in a huge – the Walmart the Walmart parking lot. Mm-hmm. Has, a couple thousand spots probably. Yeah. It's and the events, cool. the events are – you know, we always get people to ask – that's what I'm dealing with a lot daily is um, people reaching out, store inquiries, or people – you know, a lot of people just don't know what it takes to do a store. And then when yep. you, you get through that process of it, the – if they're like, okay, I'm in, and then they look for a location – that's a huge part of the location yeah. is are you able to do events because those event nights can be a big part of the store's um, marketing as far as big time. getting um, when we have 2,000 or 1,800 cars show up out in Las Vegas, that's 1,800 people that are now uh, familiar with the store and know to, yep. know to go there. So they're um, real important for many reasons. And we, we really like, um, I was telling the guys out in Texas that we really want to be the place where you can go and have um, a car meet like back in the day just people meet up and it's free and it, it, yeah. you, you don't cost anything you don't have to buy any i mean it's just good music food yeah. it's a thing it's um it's the destination that we try to create it's not just a place that you come to and buy car wax yeah. you know we have events it's uh it's it's really the way that we try to separate ourselves in this store atmosphere and uh in all the stores that we've we have corporate stores and and these other ones um man, man we uh, we have some cool events you know, and, and one that just happened that took us some time to get done. But our, our most recent corporate store uh, that we call Jack's Wax DFW, it's just outside Dallas in Mansfield, Texas. Um, what will be considered, uh, you know, like our flagship store. Uh, we it's a it's a super cool spot. It just man, you know, the guy down there that's running at Joseph for how long? Six months looked yeah. for a location. It was very hard to find one down there that met every all the criteria that we wanted and, and we events would, as part of it yeah and we would find one there and then get through doing the deal and couldn't do events or right. couldn't have this couldn't do this so it was like man but finally it's a, everything happens for a reason type thing because no this store ended up being brand new and what a yeah. cool thing we're actually having we're going to talk about these events we can talk about them now but the uh we're having a street madness there the first one the first one ever there on uh, the 28th of this month. Yep. Yep. May so, 28th. So we got multiple street madness coming up. So if people don't understand, like so street madness for us is these events at stores, you have to have a store 
to have one and it's in and we go really hard at them i mean we like we, we have t-shirts that we make for each event we have big discounts in the stores it's all about just whatever that local community is that town that we're in it's, it's just about bringing people together and they have been hugely successful uh for the store for the community for everybody and and uh just this month alone we've got well, the first one's for us. Yeah, we right got here this at our headquarters this yeah. weekend, this this Saturday. Uh, so no matter where you're at, I don't care if you're in California, if you're in Las Vegas, you need to go ahead and get those tickets and come on <laughs> yeah, and see yeah. one of the coolest car events. Yeah, um, you know, here at our headquarters, we're we're lucky that um, where we're located is in an industrial park, but we have across the street from us is a parking lot that we have the ability to rent, and yeah. it's got 1,500 spots. It's so huge. it it's a huge advantage to us. You know, you we know, shut the street down. You know, for people that are that would listen or that does that don't really know, that's what kind of you were talking about as far as these street madness is what they are. The coolest thing that I can tell people um, about them is, man, you get to see everything. It's yeah. it's for everyone. I mean, I like your dad has buddies that come out and then they're more into classics yep. and more into older school cars. Um, as to where we got our guys that are all into low riders and hydraulics, they come. Yep. We got motorcycles, trucks, tr- I mean, imports, everything that you could imagine. That's what we've. That's been our main goal in creating it. Is like yep. we just want it for people that are in car enthusiasts, trucks, whatever, like minded people to come and hang out for a night and get to see everybody's stuff and and really just a good time. And and they've all they're all such a fun time because it's really just people just hanging out. That is exactly what it is. It's a big car meet. And yeah. we incorporate, like I said, music and food. And, and uh, the one here in Columbus has really grown. Uh, we'll have a thousand plus cars, assuming the weather uh, holds out for Saturday, which we're hoping it does. And, and we'll have over a thousand cars for sure. And and uh, that's the thing. What you mentioned is the exact same thing everybody t- tells us. It's like, man, we don't get to see the variety of cars at any other show that we go to because a lot yeah. of them will be specific to it, you know, whatever. Right. You take a good guy show, for example, and it's got to be, I don't know if the rules are still the same, but 1972 and older is what it used to be and so so on and so forth. So the fact that we bring so much variety of cars, uh, it, it it shows the appreciation that people can have for other cars, you know, yeah. and motorcycle. I mean, got just everything. It's, it's, uh, there's it's a cool, they're thing, riding man. up on Groms. And yep. I mean, they've, we've got, that's why it's cool because I remember when I was 18, 16, getting a car and I had a uh, Ford Escort. Yeah. But that Ford Escort to me at well, that point time, and I'm, yeah. I'm doing stuff to it. That's to right. Look cool, whatever. But the, uh, those people can come to the meet. That's right. The younger kids that are wanting to just go hang out somewhere, they can come. Uh, it's not like it has to be what would be considered show worthy. No, it's just a it's a cool time. So that's that's why these events. I'm always telling people when I'm out and about here in Columbus, like, man, you don't need to come out. And they're like, well, we don't have no car. I'm like, no, you don't need a car. Just well, come out and check it out. Just, we got and, food and, and yeah. that. That's what's wild is I remember, you know, we have logistically like parking. We have to really manage the parking here because what we get here more than we get in other spots is spectators. So we'll have the way this is set up, and we might even do a video to show people where to park or whatever, but on where we shut the street down where we have the food vendors and the DJ and all that stuff, and you know people come in the store, buy products, buy the Street Madness gear. And then on one part of the street, if you don't want to put your car in the main parking lot for the uh, event, you can just park in one of these adjacent businesses. They're all closed. Yeah. We, got, we have the whole street. And... Uh, just come check out the cars. Like right. I was shocked. There was the first there time. was as many there was as many spectator yes. cars as there was just cars in the uh, yeah. actual event. Well, you know, we have police that run run the event, and it's funny because the uh, one of them's a good friend of ours, and his sergeant had called in and said, "Listen, man, you so when you come here, there's a freeway. It's called 670 that a lot of people take to get to our street, 17th yeah. Avenue. And uh, this is a couple street madnesses ago, but the 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 freeway was backed up probably half three quarters of a mile of cars trying to get off the exit and you know initially we didn't expect that we didn't understand that the spectator level was going to be as big as it was but there was hundreds of cars five six hundred cars of just spectators so it was it was for us it was cool because we're like man it's like you know people want to be a part of this event be able to check all this stuff out and it's it the street madness events are the fun are the ones that are the funnest for me for sure me too and um because it's everybody nobody's there everybody's there for the same reason uh, yeah, whether man. they're hanging young out. kid old doesn't matter um, it's, it's funny because my dad i remember that that first one we had here second one we had here one of his buddies remember those guys that had his really badass yeah. bikes one of his buddies Some was like dude this is too. yeah laid out and he was like this is like when we were kids you know my dad's yeah. 63 years old yeah he's like a thousand <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah right if he hears this let him know he's like a thousand <laughs> i will <laughs> he you know he's uh 
back when they used to street race when they were kids and go down to vent. I mean, that's what you did, right? And it's yeah. funny because that's what these 20-year-old kids, 21-year-old kids are still doing now. And it's like they're reminiscing like, dude, this is where it's at. This is – right. they love it. Yeah. You know, so those we, are those, that's the exact reason they're, they're so fun. Yeah. And such a good time. Yep. As everybody's there at the same time. Or so, same for the same reason. So we can't uh, we can't wait to have this one Saturday. It's like our kickoff. So we're gonna have three this year. Uh we've decided we're gonna do this one. May fourteenth is the first one. We're gonna switch it up a little bit because in July we're gonna have one on a Friday. So July twenty second, mark that on your calendar. That's gonna yep. be the next one. And then the last one of the year is gonna be Halloween. We did a Halloween themed uh, Street Madness last year, and it was a huge hit. People were dressed up. That was my favorite one. Yeah, for sure. it was cool. It was cool. All the all the gear that you had designed for, like you know, uh, the Frankenstein, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. orange pumpkin, like people that bought that stuff, you know, or Skelly. That yeah. we have a little character called Skelly uh, during that time of year, and uh, that it's, one was a big hit. Halloween's always like a bit of a thing here in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I mean, it's it's a big big deal. Yeah, deal. Yeah, I don't know how it is in you know other states but in ohio it's always been it's a massive thing yeah it is and uh, i was surprised like we you know we started promoting it said you know it's like a trunk or treat and you we gotta want dress to bring up the kids yeah. you gotta dress up whatever and remember we, we did an award for um best costume yeah and those guys came in with the most unbelievable costumes i've ever seen in my life it was it was unreal it was I, like I, movie. I, I remember movie. before i remember before we even just did it we were like man we're gonna dress up we're gonna look stupid for the only people <laughs> yeah, yeah. like right. if the employees yeah, are the only us. people dressed yeah. up like everybody goes we're just dressed up but at least i mean that was the cool thing is There's so many bunch, people did it a bunch and it was cool because all the kids were there and a, t- a ton of people decorated their cars yeah for the trunk or treat thing and you know my my kids were like like now to them that's, that's Halloween. Like Halloween. That's what is, we want to do. Yeah, is we want to go to Jack's Wax for Halloween. Yeah. So it's super cool, man. We we love it. So May fourteenth, lock that one in. Just a few days away. Uh, yeah. July twenty second, we're gonna we're gonna do some cool stuff for that one that we'll release towards when it gets close to that date. And then I don't know the exact date. We'll we'll figure it out for. Um, it's gonna be around Halloween, whether it's the weekend before or yeah. that same weekend. Because it's close to semen time too. That's right. Yeah. I think semen's first week. That's right. So it's like October 28th or so is, yeah. uh, you know, as long as there's not a bunch of trick or treats for kids that particular night, that's probably the night that we'll have it. But. Yeah. And then there's also a, um, so after hours, there is one coming up in El Cajon. El Cajon's having one, I believe, on the 27th. Could be wrong, but I believe it's on May 27th, which is the day before. I think it's a Friday. That's yeah. right. It's Friday before yeah. um, the one in DFW. So if you guys are in any of those areas, you should check them out. They're, uh, they're really cool. They are. And, and the DFW, so we touched on a little bit, but that, that was our most recent corporate store. Um, that's the biggest grand opening we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, the spot is so cool. We did, the, we did the design of the store on the inside a little bit different than we normally would, uh, just based on the building, because it was a brand new construction, super modern looking building. So we wanted to switch it up a little bit. And man, it, it fits the area perfect. We have high expectations for that store. It's a cool spot, um, and you'll be down there for that first Street yep. Madness on the 28th, and we'll we be expect there. it to be really, really good. It's going to be a big one. And a shout-out to Joseph for doing all of the construction work on that store. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You know, he, he built the entire place <laughs> by himself. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I think he's still trying to clean the glass. Yeah, I think he is. I think we. That's I an think we tasked joke, him. Yeah, we tasked uh, him with one thing, and it was uh, to clean the glass off. And I think yeah, he's, still he's trying three to get weeks into it. being open, and hopefully by this afternoon he'll get that done. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe, maybe it's a possibility. So, so then we've got uh, so we got the El Cajon, we got Columbus El Cajon DFW, and then we've got Lafayette's doing one the first weekend of June. Yep, uh, I believe June fourth, Lafayette, Indiana. And then that's the same weekend that our next store is going to open, which is Norfolk, Virginia. Yep. Go, really cool spot. Um, we've been we had a lot of uh, inquiries from you know Virginia Beach area mm-hmm. in that area, and then uh, Casey ended up uh, pulling the trigger. This has been some time ago, but yep. had set up for this this day. He had to get a store. I mean, that's what people don't understand. There's process to it. You got to get the location. His location was a doctor's office. So yeah. when he moved in, it still had all the walls. I mean, it was yeah. – so there was a lot of renovation, and they've done a lot of it themselves. Um, so a lot of renovation in that, but it's been a process to do that, then to get all the material. You know, we were lucky, like DFW, it's a blank shell. So you just go in and yeah. build your shit, and yeah. it's, it's over. But with this one, there's a lot of reno, and then you got to get your stuff in. So he's he's uh, ready now, and we'll, we'll be shipping in product, I believe, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow and Friday, and, and uh, that's going to be a little bit different because it's our very first 
uh, night grand yes. opening. Yep. So he wanted to, right? He wanted to yeah, s- there's just a big test e- it out. Yeah, because there's a big event. Um, there's a big event there. And don't hold me to, because now that you mention it, it may be that it's on Friday night. But either way, there's a big event there on uh, that weekend, and he wants to get the people that are uh, going the, to, yeah. at the event. Maybe I think maybe it's after they leave there Saturday, they come there to that. Um, he's going to test it out, and he he well, had called cool. me. Me too. He was like, "What do you think about a night grand?" And I was like, "I think it'd be badass." Yeah, Let's well, run it. Well, here's the thing: we see the street madness thing. You know, we have a normal Jack's Wax car show here, which this year we're not going to have. We're just going to do three street madnesses, test it out. But the street madness, these night events are way more attended yeah, yeah. than, you know, like a day regular cars and coffee type or like what we have as our annual um, car show. So it could really work. Yeah. His idea could be he could knock it out of the park. Yeah. Might be. That's how you find out. Might be something try we it. try to do other places. Maybe so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be cool. And then uh, do we have – We've got other stores uh, on the horizon. we got a couple in Texas um, yep. that are that are just early in the process. Haven't It's not a full commitment on, on uh, any of those yet. But Texas, um, we do have one in L.A. That's going to that be, one's going to happen. That one's happening. A um, couple spots in California. We're going to go really hard. You know, the, the store thing, we've got the formula. We know the blueprint to make them work. We do it differently than others for sure. And uh, well, the cool part about it now is being, you know, that uh, Gastonia is a couple years. Yep, just going over on two years, going on three. But we've got enough, and then our Vegas store has been a year. We see it, and it is it's proof the formula works. It keeps getting more and more and more because our thing is about we always people always use the slogan for us, and we always use it as real car care because there's so much more that goes into it. It's about you go to that store, not just to buy product but you go there to talk to McKaylee yeah. and find out why this works or to answer your questions or yeah. go to, to go and talk to Joseph about so it's a place to to get the information and sometimes that may the information we're giving you may be selling you less a I lot, mean a lot of times it is because so, so many of other people try to sell you a bunch of stuff that you don't need and it's uh that's why so it's all about acquiring the customer because once we acquire the customer most of the time we're not losing them. No, our retention is really high just because we try to do everything the right way and the products speak for themselves. We've talked about that a lot. We yeah. never worry about that part. We yeah. just we just really want to be a focal point for these local communities of a place that they can go. Because like, like we talk about, detailing your car should not be hard. Right. It shouldn't be a process that you don't look forward to. Yeah. It, it, so many of our customers are passionate about it. This is what they want to do. So we just try to make it easier for you. Right. Yeah, and the stores are, are a cool place to go get what you need and the information you need and see the newest stuff coming out. And they they also run some little deals in the stores that we don't run. Yep. Um, from time to time. And we've got some exclusive detail sprays uh, yep. that are exclusive to those areas. Las Vegas has one called Sin City Detailer. You can only buy it in Las Vegas at that store that some of these other stores are getting ready to launch Ga- theirs. Gastonia is getting ready to have one. Yep. Concord. Charleston. Charleston. And uh, uh, El Cajon's got one. Yeah, it's done. It's done. You yeah. finished it. Yeah. yeah, that one will be. Uh, those are those are cool things for yeah, the store. Yeah, exactly, because it goes back to the community thing. You know, like if yeah. I'm a part of that community, I think it's cool that I want Las Vegas had their own little detail spray. I want one. And I want yeah. one. Yeah. So. Um, and I didn't even get one, McKaylee. I know she yeah. didn't care. She's selfish. I know. You know? she didn't care about nobody. We're just all the way over here in Columbus, dude. Yeah. She, she's, she's trying to get by us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about us. <laughs> hey, we're good. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, man, we're going to go hard at the stores, so be on the lookout. And, and you, um, we put something on the website. There is. So up up top on the website, go there, and I believe it says store inquiry, retail stores. If you click that tab, it takes you to a document you can fill out if you have interest in opening a store or finding out what it takes to open one. Or yeah. um, if it's it, something you're curious about, you can definitely yep. go there and check it out. It's got a five, six, seven questions, nothing serious and um i'll get with you as far as you know time to to discuss it and well, tell what entails if if it's something you're passionate about cars generally the people that are reaching out to us are that you know it's a way to own your own business um have fun yeah you know w- work do something that you know a lot of us don't consider work i mean there's we walk in here every single day and feel real grateful that, oh yeah uh, i was just do telling do. i was just telling this lady i was talking to on the phone today i was like i was like i'm fortunate because i don't feel like i am working but no. i don't I, that's what i want to do generally you're not yeah <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah i'm down to at least 
I do 10 hours a week. <laughs> right now, I'm on 10 hours a week m- most. At the most. At the most. Yeah. I do 10 hours a week, and then after that. Well, I don't want you to get burnt out, and yeah. that's just the truth. Well, you, you got to ease into it. Well, and plus, all your cars are so old. Yeah. That most of your time is working on hot <laughs> oh, rods. Shit. I'm, I, think, I think the next one I get, I'm just going to trade those and get something that's just new. Maybe just push a button to start it. <laughs> yeah. Because this one, you got to actually too. push it. you got <laughs> yeah. push you got to park on a hill yeah. on yours. Uh, man, it's always something. Well, that's just what it is, When dude. they're in the 70s and one's in 28. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh, Badass looking, though. Yeah, that's about what matters to it's, me. <laughs> looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. Who now, cares you may be sweating like you wouldn't... That one doesn't would have, have AC? It. No. Oh, yeah, that's weird. It's been 28. <laughs> I know. That's weird. I don't know when that came along. Uh, it was like a horse, then 1928 model. <laughs> yeah. They're cool. It is funny because it's like, you know, we we'll have a bunch of cool cars in here every once in a while, and uh, so many people gravitate towards that car. Yeah. Because you just don't see them. Right. And it could, be, it could be the one that's worth the least. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah. No, they're like, they're, oh, that's a freaking badass. I know. It's, yeah. it's a, man, it's got some eyeball to it. Yeah. Whenever you're driving around, people, are, they flock oh, to it. It's a cool it's, it's a cool thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it is a cool one. I was just at a, uh, I stopped at Starbucks this morning, and I was in the Volkswagen, and guy was like man you should bring that thing to car shows and i was like i got one that i drive around maybe stop in at a car show here and there he's like man you ever went i'm like man i'm at car shows like every weekend yeah. but not for the reason that not uh, not attending them with a right. car yeah most of the time i was like man i could be in one in las vegas next week you never know um for sure so yeah the, the store thing back to it we're going to push really hard so if you're interested in at least having a conversation about it and seeing if it's something that fits for you. And we're going to continue to open corporate stores, by the way. So yeah. as uh, depending on the market, uh, depending on where we want to go, there will be more. And, uh, you know, maybe we even talk to some people about potentially running a store, yeah. uh, a corporate Absolutely. store. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, just so. reach out. Anybody that's interested in it. We've also got some uh, new products on the horizon. Yep. We June's going to be a big month for us for some, yeah. for some launches. Um, we're going to, we're going to do a couple new products it, the whole summer, June, July, August, we're going to have three months worth of a bunch of cool stuff. We're going to add some stuff to our graphene line. We're going to have one thing that we don't want to let, we don't want to launch, we don't want to talk about yet, but it's going to be a big product launch for us, uh, in the next probably 60 days. If we can get some of the stuff labeling yeah. and you it's going to be and, just to give a little hint, it's going to be something that everyone has been asking for. For a long for time. For a very long time. That we've backburnered and shame on us because I shouldn't we should say, have. Yeah, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people. It's yeah. it's a weekly thing. It is. And and when we do it, um, we're gonna do it different than the rest of uh the industry. But we're gonna we're gonna do it a lot different. And we're gonna try to it's like how we would approach something is how can we make it better? How can we not just be the same? As every other company because here's the reality man there's a bunch of car wax companies yeah. a bunch of so how do you separate yourself you know we have our formula but we're gonna we're gonna get into this industry and uh really try to make a splash so that's 60 90 days let's say yeah. it, it, hopefully hopefully sooner to the you know closer to the 60 day mark maybe. <laughs> yeah it's about every time we do a podcast okay. so once every so six months let's say um okay at, at worst, i've been trying to do a podcast for worst, well, every single week i've been trying yeah. to do a podcast since this the is the first one. time he's been here that's <laughs> to do I know, one. i've been a big warehouse guy <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work. he's shop foreman yeah i gotta fill he's bottles i gotta fill bottles i'm back to my roots yeah man. We can get you back over there. <laughs> you got to stay grounded, man. Yeah, Listen, you got to. It's just really the what is the way to do it. Is it? I like it. So, uh, plenty of events coming up, new products. Um, been we'll, working, we've been working on like a rubber cleaner. Yep. Um, just to make sure it has make sure it has its it, its use. That'd be a cool one. Um, I know one that people have been looking forward to. Not that it's a new product, but the Jax Wax detail bags. So it's funny. Whenever we launch those, we sell them out in days. Sometimes we sold them out in two days, three, four days most. And literally the last time I ordered these uh, and the last time we had them was Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I ordered them Cyber Monday, and we should have them at the end of this month, yeah. maybe into June. So that, that, that gives you an idea of some of the stuff that we're dealing with, so are, and so many people are anyway, but the whole supply chain, blah, blah, blah. So when they do come, you be better, on the lookout. You better be, we'll, we'll give some warning, and we'll give some uh, – teasers and let people know they're coming but, but they're you, coming and i would tell you as a hint your dad would like them yes that's he that's, will, he would love them. <laughs> your dad would really <laughs> like to get one as a gift yeah. so hopefully from a timing standpoint we can make that happen um but yeah man like, like we just wanted to jump on here and talk about some of the stuff that we've been doing because it's a lot and it's part of the reason that we're not on here as much as we should be 
we get it. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make an effort. We've been we've uh, hired some more people uh, to help with media yep. and different things. It makes a big makes a big help when trying to at least do them and uh, be able to get them out quicker. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that would be a, one of the reason is we would not have the time to not just do one, but then go up and I need to go up and edit it and it take you know, you know what, quite a while to do all the stuff that needs to be done. So and we travel gonna, so much, you know, uh, yeah. we're just all over the place, especially you, you know, and, and just got to make the time. But we, yeah, we got more bodies in here now that are, that are doing a lot of the media stuff. You know, you don't have to wear as many hats. And yeah, you know. I think it'd be cool too. That we were just talking about before here, like a new type of studio, mm-hmm. uh, podcast studio, to make it to where it's just always set up, always ready to rock, and doing it in something cool. If anybody has any ideas and wants to shoot any yeah. things of what would be a cool studio, um, we always like to involve customers and fans yep. and this, that, and the other. Even when it comes to like naming products, whatever. So if you have any cool ideas, that would be a cool podcast studio. Yeah, we shoot it through, it. put it in the comments. Maybe we make something cool happen. Um, and then the last thing is SEMA. We uh, secured our booth yesterday. Largest one ever. Yep, biggest booth, biggest booth we've ever had. Yep. Uh, it's in the West Hall with all the other, you know, they call it restyling and accessories, but it's all the other car care products, yeah. the companies, and in, in, in that part of the industry. And uh, we, we're we going to do something different this year. We're going to make a splash there, too. Yeah. It's going to be uh, – we have some ideas we do and we are we're it'll be talked about one way or another yeah so uh we're, we're gonna just switch it up a little bit for old SEMA. we haven't been there in a couple of years and uh yeah, so because we didn't go last year covid or yeah. two last two years or last two years well f- yeah two years ago it was COVID for sure last year they had it we just the attendance we uh, you just thought the attendance was gonna be way down yeah you yeah know? so we just we backed out of it right and so did a bunch of other companies and I talked to some other companies that we deal with and they were back and I was like I just don't know if it's if it's the right time to really come back this year we don't anticipate there being any issues so uh, Heck yeah we're gonna this go, year we're gonna go big this year is gonna be awesome yeah we've I'll, got some cool things in store for that which is that's like first weekend of November first weekend yeah of November. always is yeah, yeah like first through fourth or something like that so that you know that one's on down the road but. Uh, so I'm this SEMA I'm I'm looking forward to this one more than I have you know even as much as like our first year out there I was super pumped to be out there for the first time yeah you know we had always just gone out there and just checked things out the the very first year was was a cool memory for us for sure but uh, you know I'm as excited this year just because of what we got going on and what we're gonna what we're gonna display out there yeah yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun uh, time. It is. And then the last thing before we jump off here is at our street madness, a uh, couple things. First thing is car girl empire. Yeah. So one of our girls, Timber, she works at the Nashville store. She's got a hell of a business called car girl empire and they're yeah. opening chapters all over. It's cool. It's and, not, it's not like a, it's not like a car club. It's like car. It is a car club, but it's like a car, just car girls that are, it's like a group, right? Yeah, you know, it's just, just a group, man. And supporting each other and doing her thing. And we got one of her T-shirts right here. So she's going to uh, come up from Nashville yep. this Saturday. With the Ohio chapter of Car Girl Empire will be here. Yep. Yep. And she's going to sell these T-shirts. And they're, they're super cool. They got her logo on the front. They've got our, our new Street Madness logo on the back. We try to switch these shirts up every year because we got people that collect them. And, you know, we just always want something cool. Uh, so we're looking forward to her being up here and being able to uh, just expand this Cargo Empire you know brand of hers yeah. she's doing a really good job at it man it's like I, everywhere i look it's car girl empire i know that's a good that's a cool thing though it's super cool she's got a it, bunch of cool merch yeah she's got a lot, all kinds of cool stuff and it's a it's just all like-minded people positive vibes and everybody uh likes their car and they meet up places and the next meetup forum is gonna be right here right in columbus street, ohio at street madness right here in the store it's madness <laughs> so we're gonna do big discount in the store you spend over 75 bucks you get a free t-shirt or you can just buy the t-shirt however you want to do it everybody d- needs to do a little rain dance for us make sure that we can stay away from that rain and i think we will and and yeah. uh we're gonna kick off this season you know we are we have been waiting for this for a while man this weather is finally broken no kidding and everybody's got this cabin fever in columbus ohio i know in a lot of other parts of the country it's, dude it's all good and it's been great so long i was explaining it's like so it's such a it really is I, I don't know that i would change it because it's like you get in areas where it's beautiful it makes you not appreciate when it is pretty mm-hmm. i mean it's like a spiritual time is what i tell people right now yeah. because everybody's been you're doing, doing nothing dude i'm i'm rolling around 
today with the windows down I and know. fucking music and, and jumping. And dude, it's like, like it's like this is it's, it's like this is amazing. I, I forgot about it, and now it's like it just gives you that feeling when you're riding yep. and, it, and it's warm. You're like, oh man, I forgot, I missed it. Like this is what everybody and you got motorcycles are back out. People, you know, I know, mowing grass, and you can hear it. it's like a it really is a time here. So with all that, it's going to be a big kickoff. Uh, I mean, Saturday. on the back end, you know, what we see on the back end is going to be big. Yeah. And uh, we just need the weather to help us out. And we're yeah. going to And guess what? If it rains, time. bring your boat, jet ski, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. It <laughs> whatever, doesn't matter. Man. Yeah. Listen, cars get wet. That little, means you need to clean them. A little water never hurt. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. We'll, um, we're going to make an effort to be back on here soon. Yep. Keep you guys informed. Um, if you ever got any questions, you know, to reach out to us. Yeah. We'll any whatever we comments, can. questions, concerns. If you got complaints, talk to Jared. I got you. If you got all positive stuff, talk to me. Uh, or if you want to open the store, talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. All the negative stuff, you go to Jared. Back over to me. Yep. Back over to him. That's good. And, uh, yeah, if you guys need anything, we got live chat on the website. And we have sales at jacksbacks.com for any inquiries. Hit us up. Want to know about a store, Todd at jacksbacks.com. Know about anything, let us know. Cool. All right. Thanks, bro. Bye.